so people we lost Shari or Shari ran away and we're now out in the car looking for her and it's foggy as yeah hell oh, I'm bored. what should I do ah, I advise So guys, <laughs> this is the morning <laughs> after the party <laughs> and the only survivor is Christian <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're struggling, Blue and me. Blue is still in bed actually, uh, trying to, to not vomit all over the place, same with me. This is the kitchen now and um, <laughs> it looks really, yeah, I mean, it was a party so what did I expect? Actually, I expected this. <laughs> I had parties before here and it looked exactly the same. Maybe minus the cobweb, but yeah, the rest is pretty much the same. Oh, someone made art on my <laughs> on my whiteboard. Pretty, very pretty. You know it was a good party when the guy that you drive to the train station in the, ne uh, the next morning um, vomits out of your window <laughs> in a big, long, gargling stream <laughs> oh my god um, I just took him to Christian to the crane uh, crane station train station and that's what he did <laughs> I, I, I was just like oh my god I had, I had to laugh I'm so sorry Christian but it was hilarious um, yeah anyways the party was great <laughs> And um, I'll show you in a second what my car looks like now. <laughs> and he exactly hit the like the handle, the door handle. So yeah. What is that, guys? That looks like there's a window in the clouds or something. There's a storm over there, and there's just and, and like it's dark over there as well. But like just a little window there. That looks so strange. Well, and that's what Christian did. <laughs> Yum! Good job! <laughs> Guys, there's lots of Christmas stuff in the stores at the moment and that's why your giveaway package will also include uh, Christmas stuff. Isn't that awesome? Weihnachtszeug. Christmas stuff. Like this. Like, like that? What are you eating there? Is that from the giveaway package again? No! <laughs> Today we're having a lube... <laughs> Today we're having a super awesome yummy lunch. Um, falafel actually and uh, we bought a falafel mix which is pretty easy to make you just mix it with a little bit of water let it stay for 10 minutes and they voila like, they look like this and they look like that in boiling oil that one before that's before and that's after vorher nachher <laughs> and by the way, they're super yummy. I just tried one. Mmm, lecker. Blue just got her election material from Australia. <laughs> like, f over a month too late. What do you say? Who, who will you elect in retrospective? Not Tony Abbott. Not Tony Abbott. Not Tony Abbott. Let's vote for a cow. He w it would do a better job. It would. it would. So people, we lost Shari or Shari ran away. And we're now out in the car looking for her. And it's foggy as, yeah, hell. <laughs> so, I don't think that we will have much luck, but we're screaming our lungs out for her, and it's just terrible the thought, like, of her being lost. And uh, especially on a night like this, where it's just super, super dark, foggy, and cold, and she usually never runs away, that's why we're worried. Um, we fear that she might be stolen because she's so na so like nice and naive that um, she would probably just go with anyone. That's yeah what worries me the most actually. The echo here is absolutely crazy. I'm like calling out for Shari and someone's calling back in my exact voice. Shari! 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 That's crazy. So guys, we still couldn't find her. Um, it sucks big time because, yeah, obviously she will have to spend the night outside and um, if she's outside there or if she's been like stolen, then she could be somewhere else. It's just shit, the situation. Like, we don't even have, like, I guess you wouldn't think about it, like to have a GPS kind of collar for her or something like that, but who thinks you would need that for your dog? At least she has like one of these little microchips under the skin or something like that with which um, the, the 
animal doctor could like find her or identify the household she belongs to but yeah that might take a while so guys after an exhausting day we finally finally found her we like put posters up everywhere I actually should have vlogged while doing that but I was too ex too riled up with the whole thing um, it was so stressful you wouldn't believe it because we thought I don't know it must have been lost or even stolen and that was just terrible the thought of that and so what happened is after we put up a whole lot of black and white posters of her we realized hmm, wait black and white's pretty terrible <laughs> maybe we should print some color ones blue knew that all along but I I just I don't know I didn't think of colorful ones before later and then we went home got colorful ones and then it happened that a girl approached us at the supermarket and said like hey um, I saw your dog last night it was like in front of our house and then it was picked up by a car and people tried finding out where she was from they were like driving from house to house and that's when she gave us an address or at least like the direction of the house and we drove there found out that the police took Shari in <laughs> she was <laughs> she was arrested by the police for being a naughty doggy and um, then she was driven to a shelter kind of place run by a person uh, 30 kilometers from here and so after a whole day of calling people of printing stuff of putting stuff up we or my parents drove there got her and while we were like getting all the posters back <laughs> so it was just so much work so exhausting in the end it was of course worth it because we got Shari back but damn it Shari never run away again no Shari da bist du wieder bum licking as always Sleepy Shari. All relaxed. Home again. <laughs> Großer Teddy Bear. Big Teddy Bear. Ach, so guys, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. And uh been asleep for two hours like I fell asleep at like 6 a.m. because my mind was racing with ideas for the channel I prepared a new video yesterday like a big announcement video and um, I just couldn't get to sleep until like 7 a.m. or so and uh, now it's 9 a.m. and I'm awake because my dad asked me yesterday if I could um, help him out and uh, get my uncle ready for work because my uncle is um, in a wheelchair and uh, yeah, goes to one of those um, handicapped people um, workplaces that you, I don't know if you have that in, in, in the US or somewhere else, but in Germany um, he actually goes every morning to one of those places like everyone else goes to work and builds something and so on. Anyways, my dad wanted me to do that for him because he's not here this morning and so I said yeah sure no worries well and that's what I'm doing but I have slept for two hours so far and I'm dying <laughs> ich sterbe one good thing the, the leaves are still colorful and nice outside but it's freezing it's like minus a million Celsius, degree celsius definitely a million or maybe just my body thinks, or maybe my body just thinks that because it's so tired and sensitive. Who knows? Oh, they're here, I think. Now I have the choice to go back to bed or to stay up and get rid of my fuck, sorry, and get rid of my messed up uh, bio sleeping rhythm. Mm, I say go back to bed and get up at 12 a.m. Because now it's 9 a.m. I can sleep for another three hours which gives me a total of like five hours of sleep maybe for the night and then tonight I can go to bed earlier and maybe get back into a normal sleeping pattern a sleep sleeping pattern <laughs> sleeper oh god night uh, okay ich bin endlich wach oh, hast, hast ihr das nicht auch wenn ihr die ganze Nacht damit verbringt 
euch rumzuwälzen. Ich kann nicht sleep, ich kann nicht schlafen. Und über alles Mögliche nachdenkt. Und als, als wenn die Nacht der beste Zeitpunkt dafür ist, sich mal ausgiebig mit Kernphysik zu beschäftigen oder irgendwie sowas. Also es ist zum Kotzen. Letzte Nacht, wie gesagt, habe ich die ganze Zeit über alle möglichen Videoideen nachgedacht und ähm, man sagt ja, man soll sich auf die Basisfunktion des Körpers konzentrieren, damit man einschlafen kann, also wie die Atmung oder keine Ahnung, den Herzschlag. Und ich habe mich auf meine Füße konzentriert. Ich habe mir vorgestellt, wie sich, also ich habe ich hab versucht zu fühlen, wie sich meine Füße anfühlen, wie sie gegen die Decke drücken, die, die Bettdecke. Und ähm, all sowas. Ja, es klingt merkwürdig. Ist es auch. Habe ich mal in so einem meditations audio gehört. <lacht> Die haben das da gemacht. Da dachte ich so, oh, zum Einschlafen, ha? na gut, probiere ich es doch mal. Challenge accepted. Hat nicht funktioniert. Anyways.